Hey guys, it's Bryn. I'm going to do a five minute game. And uh, actually, I'm going to be playing uh, Chess Explained. So, an international master. He just got his international master norm. His last one. And uh, <laughs> rating on ChessQ 2710. FIDE rating is like somewhere just above 2400, I think. So, he's a nice guy and he has his own channel. Um, YouTube users, Chess Explained. So, okay, we're going to play a game here. I'm probably going to get crushed, of course, but I think I'll just take my time, and if I can claim a decent position, then we'll call that a moral victory, even if I uh, lose horribly on time. So, a couple of spectators. <laughs> Maybe we're in the top games or something, because his rating is so high. Let's see. Watch. Yeah! I'm in the top games! Sweet! Okay. So... Is he ready? Okay. So let's play d4. He's a nice guy. We've been talking a lot about openings lately. And, uh... Let's see what we get here. Uh, I don't want to play a Ninzo Indian. So let's see if he goes into the Queen's Gambit. Yeah! I can't play the exchange variation here, I don't think. I'm, I'm sure I'm messing up this move order somehow, but I'm just going to... Hmm. I'll just put the bishop back. Maybe it would have been better on f4. But uh, I haven't played the exchange yet, so... Oh, this is interesting. Is he going to play bishop to b7? Or... Hmm. Maybe I'll exchange now just to block that bishop in, if I can. Uh, maybe he takes back with the knight. No, I can't block the bishop in. What am I thinking? I don't have enough piece coverage on it. But what if I pin the knight, he plays. I'm pinning the knight to the bishop. Uh, this just loses a piece, apparently. Whoops. This does not, this does not work for me. Well, this didn't last very long. So I'm already a piece down. <laughs> okay, well let's try this again. Maybe he'll give me one more game. Since uh, that one didn't work out so well. Oh, he did. That's nice of him. Okay, let's try this again. D4, D5. I know he plays the exchange variation of the Queen's Gambit declined. Oh, he's not, uh... He didn't play, um... Oh, he's playing the Catalan. Okay. Don't know much theory about the Catalan either. Um, I think I can take here, and... I'm not really going to try to hold on to the pawn or anything. But, uh... Yeah, he can just grab it back. Uh, maybe some knight move here, like, will be annoying. Actually, if he moves this knight, I may have to play. Okay. Got a bit lucky there. I think maybe if he moved the knight, I would have been in some trouble. Um, well, this queen is sort of annoyingly placed. Well, I offer a queen trade. No, I can't, because then I'll drop this pawn. Hmm. What about, uh... Knight to d4, just to see what he wants to do with that bishop? Uh, d5? 
see where he wants that bishop to be. Oh, he doesn't mind trading it. Okay. Hmm. I have the bishop pair and his king seems a little weak. How can I deal with this? Um... Not sure. Can't. This pawn is so weak. Alright, I've got to get some development going here. So let's put the knight out here. And then. Uh, I don't want my queen opposite. I don't want my queen opposite his rook. And then this probably prepares c5. Can I play c5 right away? Uh, let's get this knight here. Maybe... Okay, trade bishops. Uh, I'd like to prevent... I'd like to blockade this pawn just so I can play c5. And he can't play e4 yet because this pawn is undefended. And he wants his bishop pair back, and he's preventing me from playing c5 now. Okay, he can take the knight and then take the bishop if I'm not careful. So, I'll just do this. Watching out for this fork square here. Oh, I'm dropping a pawn now. Yes. Okay, can I get my queen out? Huh? Yeah, this knight is really annoying. Mm, he wants to trade queens. I don't think that's a good idea for me because I'm down a pawn. And I would like to kick this knight out of here. But I can't, of course, it's still on the same diagonal. Um, okay, what am I going to do here? Really don't know. Uh, just do a little bit of king safety work here. Oh, I'm way down on time. I just want to protect this c7 pawn in case the knight moves away. Um, Alright. Get rid of the queens. Uh, I really don't know what to do. Okay, we'll put pressure on the knight. This king is crawling in. time a lot here. Just don't know what to do. I'll just make a move. Now he's going to push the center. Okay, this is an inconvenient for me. I better get my rook back. Yeah, he's just rolling his center pawns now and I'm in trouble. Not much I can do here. Bishop doing something maybe on this square. I don't know. Oh wow, he sacked an exchange. Uh, get my king up. Maybe f6. 
Oh, uh, no, I'll just give him another pass pawn. Yeah, these pawns are gonna roll. And I'm about to lose on time anyway. <laughs> well, alright. So I forfeited on time. But at least I didn't hang a piece in that game. I just This knight sitting here on, on c6 was really annoying because I couldn't get c5 in. Yeah, so, boy, not some very good games. Anyway, I uh, hope you guys enjoyed them anyway, and we'll see you next time. Bye.